Hi, my name is Beth Tuminello. I am a high school chemistry and AP chemistry teacher from Long Island, New York, and I love using Wacom products with my teaching. I started using Wacom products about four or five years ago when I was making review videos for my students with my Wacom Intuos. I love the way that I can write on the screen and explain the same way that I would naturally do that on the board in the classroom. Recently, I've been really excited because the great people at Wacom also gave me a Wacom One, which has a display, as you can see, and that has been amazing also for all of the home teaching and virtual teaching that we've had to do since last spring. So the next thing I'd like to show you is my desk setup so that you can see the way that the Wacom Intuos and the Wacom One can both integrate into what you're going to do with them. So this is where I do my videos and my virtual teaching when I am at home. It is just a very small corner of an extra room with a shower curtain hanging behind me as a nice divider and a nice backdrop. I have both my setups here right now, both my Wacom Intuos with my laptop, which is what I bring back and forth to school, and my Wacom One connected to my desktop, which I keep permanently at home. Either one has a very small footprint and can be used very easily wherever you already have your computer set up or can just be attached to a laptop and really be brought anywhere. So let's talk about Kami. Uh, Kami is a PDF editor. You can use it to mark up, you can use it to draw, highlight, draw shapes, erase, and it's a really great PDF editor. Um, I My favorite ways to use Kami would be for students to take exams digitally and then hand them in through my learning management system, which my school uses Google Classroom. The students can take the exam, open it in Kami right from Google Classroom. And up on the top right-hand side of the screen when they use it, there is a button on the premium version for them to hand in that marked up PDF as their test paper. So then I can go into Google Classroom, which again is my learning management system. I can open up their test and I can grade it using Kami along with my Wacom tablet. So now when you are making an assignment in Google Classroom, if you're using Google Classroom that you want your students to be able to use Kami with, you are going to make this option, make a copy for each student, and you're going to make sure that you have that checked off. That will give each student their own copy to open with Kami. Once you've done that, and the students go to open this assignment, they're going to click on the assignment and they are going to click open with Kami. I have opened and I want to add an answer. I can use a text box by clicking on text box here and I can uh, click into wherever I wanna add that text box. So for example, it says, according to the VSEPR model, the arrangement of electron pairs around NH3 and CH4, I can pick my answer, answer is D. And then when I hit enter, it would give me another line if I needed it. If I want to do some sort of drawing, um, for example, for ALF3, I can go and click on drawing. I can pick the thickness that I want my pen to be. I can also pick my ink color. So for this one, just to show you the different colors, I'm going to pick purple and I'm going to draw my ALF3 which is going to be like this. And then I wanna maybe make my, my pen a little bit thicker so that I can do my dots for my dot diagram. And you can see using the Wacom tablet and this feature of changing the pen color and changing the ink, um, thickness is really important. So I'm going to change the color so that I can indicate the bond angle here. And I'm also going to maybe change the color again to write no net dipole moment. Or maybe I would want to do that with a text box. I can also draw shapes. If I pick the shape here, maybe um, this isn't about the question that I'm doing right now, but maybe I want to draw a square for some reason. 
and I'm just going to do that. So if I wanted to draw myself a box to put my answer in or something like that, I can do that. If I'm not happy with what I did, I can click the eraser. There's also an option for adding equations and symbols. There's a way for me to make comments and signatures and things of that nature. When your students are finished with their exam, up over here where my save icon is, your students will have the icon that will allow them to integrate this into the learning management system. My students have a hand in button right here and they can click this and then this exam gets handed in with their markups on it, which is really cool. And then the next thing that I like to do, I can then open their exam in Kami and grade it. So that's the next thing that we're going to look at. Now in Google Classroom, I would be able to go to Classwork and go to the turned in assignments, but to show you ones without names on them, I'm going to go and get this out of Google Drive. And as you can see, I blacked out the name for privacy, um, but this would have been able to be opened directly from Google Classroom. I can just click on each student's assignments and then I can using my, my tablet using my Wacom tablet, I can click on open with and I can annotate it with Kami. And then within Kami on my end, I can do the same things that the student could do. So I like to grade in colors other than red. So maybe I want to pick purple and um, I want to do some drawing in purple maybe in two point font here. And so I'm going to look and yes, this is a correct answer. Now for number two here though, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sigma bonds. What this student has confused with, there's only one pi bond. So I can write this information on this student's exam exactly like I would if I was grading a paper exam. And then at the end of this, when I hit save, I am saving this on the student's paper. So now when the student opens up their exam in Google Drive, my writing is on that paper and I can write the grade on top and I can write any notes back to them that I want. So hopefully this was helpful. This was my favorite ways to use Kami with my Wacom tablet, both my Wacom Intuos and my Wacom One for having students take exams and complete assignments and for grading those assignments or exams and handing them back through Google Classroom. Thank you very much.